At the Curragh, all is set for the Irish Derby. And all set too for a dead cert win by Epsom Derby winner, Relco. Not a hint of the drama to come. All the usual faces around, all the usual things going on. There's Christmas Island, 22 to 1. And Relco, the can't lose favourite, which French jockey Yves saint is to ride. Onto the course, and everything still looks quite normal, including Relco there on the left. Nothing in the field to touch him, everyone believes, including jockey saint And then, with a minute to go to the start of the race, the staggering announcement. Relco is lame. He can hardly walk, let alone run. Relco is withdrawn. And they're off, 16 bewildered survivors without a favour to chase after. Hopes are now pinned on Ragusa, starting at 107, whom Relco beat by nine lengths at Epsom. But this extraordinary race has another surprise in store. Ragusa's leading all right, but himself injured seven furlongs from home. Injured, but holding on with Vic McCree and Tiger in hopeless pursuit. Yes, it's Ragusa, snatching a 49,000 pounds victory with one leg badly torn and one shoe missing. Jockey Garni Bagore must be the most astonished man in Ireland. And even Sir Gordon Richards, who congratulates the owner's wife, can't remember a day like this in a lifetime of racing. All Ragusa can say is, my foot hurts. 